In this video, I sand the water line in preparation to apply barrier coat. Then, I applied barrier coat to the keel and the water line. I wet sand the old anti-foul on our hull, and I wax the entire freeboard. Last time, on Sailing Balachandra, I rebedded our forward V-berth hatch. We moved Balachandra into the workyard, and I cleaned the entire hull and top sides. Hey everyone, if you're new to the channel, I'm Dan and this is Sailing Balachandra. This boat behind me here is Balachandra. She's a 1986 CNC 44 sailboat. And my partner Noel and I sailed her all the way to Grenada from Nova Scotia, Canada, and then back to Florida. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, just go below this video, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button, and uh, enjoy. Good morning everyone, so this is where the fun begins. It's time to sand the patch I put over my keel joint and get that prepared for painting barrier coat. And I also have to sand up here. This is my, uh, the two stripes. And I mentioned earlier that I was going to paint over one of these stripes with bottom coat. Before I paint over this with anti-foul, I need to put some barrier coat to protect the gel coat just to make sure that the seawater doesn't seep in. So it's not a huge job, mostly just scuffing it up and getting it prepared for paint. Also, while I'm talking to you, you can see here there's kind of like this crustacean stuff and I have been scrubbing this like crazy like we have this long transom that just hangs out and a lot of things decided to try to live here while we were in the Caribbean anyway um, this is all going to be bottom coat from now on and that should take care of that issue but that has to be sanded off as well So now I've completely finished sanding uh, the stripes and the waterline and getting ready to apply barrier coat so I can increase the waterline with anti-foul. There's some spots here where you can see there's actually some red showing through where you can see the previous coat of paint, or I guess gel coat, on the boat was red back once upon a time. And uh, so this was the blue that we had before and then this darker blue is the painted blue that we had done. But this is going to be bottom. I'm going to increase the barrier coat here, then anti-foul paint all the way up to that line. And uh, that way we should have an easier time cleaning the hull when she's in the water. The next stage before I apply the barrier coat is to clean it up and prepare it for paint. So I'm going to use uh, Total Boat's new uh, de-waxer and surface prep product that they sent us. I've used this several times now on several different applications. Uh, cleaning metal to cleaning fiberglass to prepping for paint. But like I said in previous videos, be very careful. It's got some caustic stuff in there. So wear gloves, you know, if you don't have a ventilated area. It's nice and breezy here today. I don't think I'm gonna be breathing it in. I'm going to be using it on the keel where I have a patch covering the keel joint. And I'm going to be using it to clean up after having sanded the stripe. I sanded it, then I washed it with water. And now I'm going to wash it with this product. Hey everyone, sorry for the noise. I'm in the boatyard and there's people out there sanding and grinding and it's non-stop, so anyway. Uh, I'm at the point now where I'm ready to apply the barrier coat. And um, I've taped off the hull where I want to put the barrier coat so that I can protect that part where I'm increasing the water line and going to be adding more anti-foul. But before you put anti-foul, you should put barrier coat. 
So this is what I'm going to be using. It is from Total Boat. They sent this to us free of charge to try out. It's the uh, Total Protect two-part epoxy and primer barrier coat. There's a base and there's this other can which is the curing agent and uh, you combine these together in a three to one mixture and uh, that is how you get your barrier coat. So it's a it's a two-part epoxy is what it is and uh you have to pretty much follow the instructions to a t uh first you need to prepare your area by sanding with like an 80 grit paper which i did uh, and then you need to clean the surface to uh, clean off any remaining residue and uh, whatever might be there so that the barrier coat will stick properly so now that that's done i'm ready to mix up my barrier coat three to one mixture and apply it now when you apply this barrier coat you can wait about 30 minutes to two hours or so somewhere in there until it becomes just tacky then you apply the next coat they recommend a minimum of two coats um, but you're, it, it also says that you can go up to four and five coats depending on, on your needs. Uh, I know that when I did the rudder with barrier coat, I, it was a different brand of barrier coat, but I did four coats of barrier coat on the rudder, but that rudder had never seen any products at it, of any kind. It was just bare fiberglass. This is a gel coated surface that I'm painting over. So um, it's already got some protection with the gel coat. Maybe two coats of barrier coat is all that's going to be required and then the yeah, anti-foul will go over top. But let's see how this lays down. Total Boat was uh, kind enough to send along some of these handy buckets which are awesome. These little containers have your measurements already on the side. So if I'm doing a three to one mixture, I find the three to one column and I scroll down and it's, there you go. You can measure out your three to one. Uh, I still have a nice clear day to finish this up. Lots of sunshine, so it's time to get started. It's the start of another beautiful day here at the work yard at Green Cove Springs Marina. And uh, my epoxy barrier coat is dry and it's looking really nice. You can see here that uh, this is where I applied it. Two coats of Total Boats barrier coat and epoxy primer. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks great. Uh, so now I can increase the water line and paint anti-foul over this, which is uh, going to be fantastic. And that was the goal. And, you know, it's looking really, really good. So I'm pretty happy with this product. I mean, I would recommend it if you were uh, doing barrier coat. I mean, it stands up against the other products I've used in the past. Let's go take a look at the keel. So you can see here, I used the same product here on the keel. Sorry, it's a bit low lighting. The sun just hasn't come around this far yet. But anyway, here's a few coats of that two-part epoxy barrier coat. The keel joint. So it is looking fantastic, very solid, ready for bottom paint. So with that all done, my next step today is going to be sand and prep the hull for anti-foul. And I'm going to paint the pinstripe back on, the, uh, the, the one I'm keeping. Uh, and I opened up my locker yesterday where I keep all my paints and stuff and I just happened to have about half a can of that paint that I used last time I painted the stripe. So hopefully that's enough to finish the job. So here we go.
Hey everybody, so uh, again, I apologize for the noise here at the marina. There's literally always someone running a sander or an angle grinder or something. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I'm about to start wet sanding the old anti-foul in preparation to add the new anti-foul. The last time we hauled out back in Nova Scotia uh, and we were doing the bottom, this, this older sailor came by. Uh, you know, you could tell he's done a lot with his boat and he gave me some advice and he said, if you're sanding anti-foul to apply more anti-foul, he's like, you don't have to, he said, you don't have to go crazy and use like, you know, uh, electric sanders and take it right down to, you know, remove all the old stuff. He's like, you can leave some of that old stuff there, it's no problem. He's like, all you really need to do is just clean up the surface and prep it. And he was telling me that he preferred doing it wet, sanding wet, and uh, not doing a, a crazy amount of work. Just kind of rough it up and get rid of any noticeable bad spots. And it apparently it doesn't take that long. I guess the, the main benefit of doing a wet sand on your hull is that there's no dangerous dust entering the air that you can breathe so you don't need to wear a respirator and uh, everything you're sanding away just kind of runs down the hall and it's gone and it's not getting into the air and getting exposed anywhere you don't need to wear a Tyvek suit so it's pretty uh, pretty cool idea and I'm gonna try it so I've got my broomstick and this nifty little uh, sanding rig you get for doing ceilings and I'm gonna use that to wet sand the hull and rough it up so we'll see how that goes and uh, if all goes well we should be at the end of this ready to apply the new coat of antifell probably put two coats on i got two cans we'll see how it goes so So Noel and I talked it over and we decided that we're going to put off painting the anti-foul on the boat until we're ready to splash and we're not ready to splash just yet. We still have some more projects we want to do. So the anti-foul project's just going to have to wait. That said, the next step is to apply wax and polish to the freeboard. It's a good idea to wax the freeboard of your boat usually every haul out or as often as possible mainly because the gel coat that is on your freeboard is susceptible to UV damage and salt water damage and over time if you just leave it it's going to eventually degrade so it's a really good idea to when you get an opportunity to polish it. Total Boat sent us this boat wax it's a uh, their premium boat wax to try out uh, again free of charge get from Total Boat free hat <laughs> so uh, we're gonna give this a shot and see how it compares to the wax I've used in the past. Um, it says it's a pretty simple application. I mean, wax is wax. You put it on and you polish it off. This says you can just wipe it off, but I'm excited to use the new polisher sander combo that I bought, which I already used when sanding my keel joint patch and worked incredibly well. So I'm gonna be using that tool again to do the polishing on the freeboard it's it's a bit of a heavy tool it's something between like an angle it looks like an angle grinder but it's somewhere between an angle grinder and a chainsaw like it's huge so um, I gotta find a longer ladder but anyway we get started and do some of this waxing hey everyone so today I am applying wax to the freeboard trying to get a sheen on it and protect it from salt water and, and damage and today I'm using uh, Total Boats uh, Premium Boat Wax that they sent us for free. It's uh, a tryout of this stuff. And um, I've already messed around with this a little bit and I've had some difficulties. I thought from the beginning that I could buff the wax off with my big polisher buffer that I brought down from Canada, um, which I used for sanding already. It's dynamite, but for, for polishing, it's supposed to also, what's it's mainly a polisher. Uh, and um, I didn't have great success. It, it didn't really like, I think it might have just taken all the wax right off. I'm not sure. 
So uh, on the instructions, it says to wipe it on with a wet cloth, give it a bit of time, and then wipe it off with a dry cloth. And um, so I tried doing that, just elbow grease and wiping, and the finish is much better. It has a bit of a shine to it. It's what, more like what I expected from a boat wax. Uh, so it is a good product. It, don't use it like, a, like you would expect a wax to be used with, with the buffer. Uh, I learned the hard way. So I'm gonna try rubbing it in uh, with cloths and using that method. I went back, I actually dug out an old wax I had in the boat and gave that a try. Um, and uh, I ended up throwing it in the garbage because it was turning my gel coat beige. Um, there's, there's a difference between polishes and waxes. Polishes kind of remove the grit and the dirt and clean up and prepare the surface for wax. Um, I know Total Boat actually has a polishing product as well. Um, but um, I'm really just interested in waxing right, right now at this point. The, the gel coat's not that dirty. I just want to just want to protect it. And so this is working out nicely. I, last time I did this, I had another product. It was a, another kind of wax, maybe more like a car wax. And uh, I was able to buff that with a buffer and uh, I was expecting to do it that way. So I, I may have to run out and, and purchase something like that because that's kind of what I'm used to. But I'm going to give this, uh, this product from Total Blow to try first. So here we go. for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just go below this video, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button, and if you want, you can leave a like or a comment, and if you haven't checked out our Patreon page yet, it's always a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back, and if you like what we do, you can support us. So, thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.